Zora's Zucchini by Catherine Pryor, illustrated by Anne, Anna Raff. It was only the third day of summer vacation, but Zora was already out of ideas. Zora rode her bike in large, lazy circles around the neighborhood, just like the day before and the day before that. When Zora rode by the hardware store, she noticed something new. A bunch of plants with fuzzy green leaves. From it said, free zucchini, Zora read, huh, Z, like me. She filled her basket with zucchini plants, and she headed home. Look what I found, Zora announced, zucchini. I'm going to plant these in our garden. Zora dug big holes so the roots had room to grow. She settled the plants snugly in the soil. She watered each one. That's going to be a lot of zucchini, said her father. We'll eat it, Zora promised. As June, warm, turned to July, hot, Zora tended her garden. She watered the plants when their leaves got droopy, and she cheered every time that she saw a new yellow-orange zucchini blossom. One morning, Zora spotted her very first zucchini. She snapped it off the vine with a quick twist and raced to show her family. Zora's family found a new way to cook zucchini every day. Her brother made bread, her sister made soup, her parents marinated and grated it and barbecued. As Zora's garden grew, they ate zucchini for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. More? Zora offered. By the first day of August, Zora's garden was a jungle of prickly, tickly, bushy blossom plants. Every single one of those plants was covered in zucchini. There was no way her family could eat it all. Zora peered into her neighbor's garden. It was full of tomatoes, but no zucchini. Hi, Miss Thompson. Would you like to trade some tomatoes for some zucchini? Zora asked. Well, absolutely, Miss Thompson replied. Zora swapped an armful of zucchini for an armful of tomatoes. Zora's zucchini kept growing. This is crazy, she said. She loaded up her bike and gave every last one away. The next day, Zora found even more zucchini. Seriously, she said. Zora thought and thought. She had an idea. But she knew she couldn't do it alone. Her brother painted signs and her parents printed the flyers. Zora and her sister posted them all over the neighborhood. On Saturday, Zora's garden swap was open for business. Take a veggie, leave a veggie. Or at least please take some zucchini. Zora straightened her sign. She checked the time. And the sun got hotter. Zora's feet got fidgetier. And she began to worry that her garden swap was a garden flop. Then, Zora saw Miss Rivera 
carrying a bowl of raspberries and Miss Peterson bringing potatoes. Neighbors stopped by with carrots, peppers, and green beans from their gardens. They shared plums and apricots and cherries from their trees. Oh, people left whatever they had too much of and took whatever they wanted. Zora, she traded and traded until all of her zucchini was gone. Zora looked around at the busy, noisy jumble of munching, laughing, chatting neighbors. Had zucchini? Her zucchini had garden had brought so many people together. She was already plotting what to grow next summer. When gardens grow and grow and grow, this is what you should do. Gardens are tricky. Some weeks we see every last cherry tomato, lettuce, leaf, and green bean as a miracle, almost too precious and perfect to eat. As the season progresses and our gardens produce more food than we can possibly eat, we ask ourselves, what was I thinking when I planted all of this? About one-third of the world's food is wasted, which means that all the water, work, and time it took to grow that food, it's also wasted. So what can you do if you have extra food? You can donate it. Consider donating your extra fruit and vegetables to a food bank in your town. Food banks are places that people go when they don't have enough to eat. And fresh produce is often one of the hardest things for food banks to acquire and store. Many towns have fruit tree gleaning programs where volunteers harvest fruit from their neighbor's trees and take it to a food bank or community kitchen. You can also preserve it. Canning, pickling, freezing, and drying fruits and vegetables are all good ways to stretch the abundance of summer into the fall and winter months. Freezing or canning the zucchini you're tired of in August can help stock your freezer and cupboards full of delicious food for the year to come. You can also share it. Host a harvest party for your school or neighborhood. Create a scavenger hunt in the garden and set up a garden swap or exchange your favorite recipes. Sharing food with others is a great way to meet your neighbors. Make new friends and give back to your community just like Zora. The end.